Hello everyone. As a little bit of a juxtaposition as to last week where we talked about the most violent thing possible, today we talk about the most child-friendly po thing possible. Pokemon. Now, what are we talking about here? We talking about trading cards? No. Come on. This? No. Um, are we talking about the movies? No. The show? No. Then exactly what are we talking about? The main series games? Anyone? No. What we are talking about is more related to this. So far we've gained a clue as to see that DLC will probably be an inclusion in the newest entry to the Pokemon franchise. Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire? No. Sun and Moon? No. Pokin. Now, this video is the list is my list of the top ten Pokemon that need to be in Pokin tournament for any reason. Now I do have a bit of extras before we start the actual list, like honorable mentions. First off, we have Beedrill. I was going to go with Beedrill for Poison Sting, Poison Jab, and whatnot, but honestly, there's just one guy that can do that better, and he is on the list. I was also going to have Sableye because of Power Gym, but... <sighs> I was going to have Swampert because we already have the other two Gen 3 starters. It's just a... Uh, sorry about the camera shaking. It's my stand. We already have the other two Gen 3 starters, but nah. So, that was the honorable mentions. Now I'd like to suggest a couple of support characters. As we know, we have support characters like Eevee gives, like, you know, helping hand, and um, Frogadier does, like, Bubble Beam or whatever he does. So here's an interesting um, idea. Bronzor using Gyro Ball... Because who uses Gyro Ball better than Bronzor? And Roserade using Grass Knot. Now, Grass Knot, what I think, it would kind of, you know, trip people as opposed to doing damage. Trip people, trip the opponent and leave an opening for an attack or whatever. That's just an interesting idea I had. Without further ado, let's get to number 10. Number 10 is Breloom. Why Breloom? Well, because Breloom's friggin' awesome. <laughs> Honestly, Breloom is one of my personal favorite Pokemon, so there might be a bit of bias. But at least one person out there would agree with me that Breloom is a grass fighting type. And that fighting type is uh, introduced some pretty unique moves, such as, what, Sky Uppercut? Other things that I can't think of right now. The grass type is introduced things like Seed Bomb. So yeah, why not Breloom? He's built for this game. Anyone else agree? Number 9. Number 9 is kind of a uh, two guys, but it's not 9 and 8, it's just 9. If one gets added, the other needs to be Zangoose and Seviper. Now, the thing about Zangoose and Seviper is that they're natural enemies. Read their Pokedex entries. They are enemies. Now, how they could utilize Zangoose and Seviper, Zangoose would, uh, you know, use moves like Slash and whatever else it is that Zangoose uses, while Seviper would use things like uh, Rap and Poison Tail, because those are moves he knows, and he's, he's pretty much the one that's, you know, started Poison Tail, really. He was the first one to use it in Gen 3. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Number eight, the replacement for Beedrill, Nido King. Why? Because Poison Jab, Earthquake, Earth Power, other ground type moves, Rock Climb. An interesting physical move set based entirely around ground and poison types. Because, if, for those that didn't know this, in the first gen, Poison was. First through third, Poison was actually a physical type, which didn't make much sense to me when I first heard that, but I just decided to let that be. Number seven, I didn't even write, I know who this is anyway. We have Matang. 
Not Metagross. Why Matang? Because he's the perfect balance. Metagross is on all fours, you know? That'd just kind of be kind of weird. But Matang flies around. Mobility. He could utilize moves such as Meteor Mash. He is kind of, you know, he's kind of special. Um, you use Confusion as opposed to Psychic. You know. And he could use Takedown, which I don't think we really have any Pokemon that use Takedown yet. We have Charizard uses um, Flare Blitz, I think it's called. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it's called something like that. Flare Blitz, I think. But we don't have any takedown yet, so. Number six, Halucha. Halucha is easily one of the most unique Pokemon introduced in Gen 6. Why? Fighting, flying. He is literally the luchador bird. Bring him in. The game was built to have Halucha in it. Just do it. Number five, we have Bisharp. Why Bisharp? Because blades. He is made of blades. Number four, Pinsir. The reason I say Pinsir instead of his more suitable... Um, cousin, I guess, Heracross, is that Pinsir is just simply less predictable. Plus, Heracross may have Horn Drill, but Heracross does not have Guillotine. Guillotine is a one-hit KO move. That would be better suited to be a special move than Horn Drill, really, I think. And plus, Pinsir would be a more unique Pokemon. Plus, Personally, I, that might be biased again because I just like Pinsir more than Heracross. I don't know why, I just do. Number three, we have Kabutops. Two words, blade hands. Plus, agile movements make for another unique uh, fighting style. You know, the different classifications of characters, technical, speed, normal, power, he'd be in speed. Aegislash. Aegislash, I think, would create kind of a new genre among those different types. He wouldn't... He, if they used anything, it'd probably be technical. Because, unlike any other Pokemon within Pokemon Tournament, he'd have a stance change. He'd go from defense mode, where he doesn't do much damage with his attacks, to attack mode, where he takes a lot more damage from enemies. Plus, let's just be honest... He's a freaking sword. Argue with me. Number one. The Pokemon that pretty much inspired this list along with Breloom. Staraptor. Why Staraptor? We do not have any other birds. We do not have that many Gen 4 Pokemon. I can't actually think of... Oh, we have Garchomp. And Weavile. And, okay, we have enough Gen 4 Pokemon. Anyway, <laughs> I might be wrong. But still, I would say Staraptor above Pidgeot or, or Pidgeot, however you want to say it. I, I say Pidgeot because I can read uh, Pidgeot or Swellow or Noctowl, anything like that. I say Staraptor because of close combat. No other early game fi flying Pokemon can use close combat. That is a fact. I'm pretty sure. You could utilize close combat, Steel Wing, Aerial Ace, other moves that no other Pokemon in the game can use because we don't have any other birds. And I can hear you saying right now, oh, Blaziken is a chicken. Shut up. That's all I got. You shut up. Thank you for watching today's video. If you liked it, please leave a like. If you have any other suggestions of your own, please leave leave one leave it in the comments. I'd be happy to listen. Uh, if you think this sucks and that I should refilm it, which I kind of do, I should probably wait until tomorrow to do this, then please tell me that too. Uh, if you think I'm stupid, leave it in the comments. I, that always makes me feel good to know that people think I'm stupid. And above all that, see you later.